The moment of truth is here. The question is, are you ready? Are you prepared? Do you have the strength? Do you have the mindset? You got to get disciplined. And you got to eliminate all distractions. And you got to get hungry. And you have to protect that hunger. You don't get here by quitting when you're tired. You get here by quitting when you're finished. When you're done. I get it, young. Even if I'm just going through the motions, I go through the motions. Easy won't give you what you need. Easy won't push you beyond your limits. Do you think you have the mindset now? Do you understand what it means to get into what they call beast mode? But I'm here to let you know right now, ladies and gentlemen, it ain't about being beast mode. It's about life and death mode. It's about putting it on the line. It's about pushing yourself and giving it 110% of everything you got. There is nothing that you can do once you're here except finish what you start. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. And so I execute for my mom. I execute for my grandma. I execute for my sister. I execute for those kids in the hood who are looking for a role model. That's why I wear the hat with a PhD. That's why I wear the J's. So when the kids in the hood look at me, they say, if E.T. can do it, I can do it. That's why I can't quit and give up, even though I get tired just like everybody else. If you're going to have the legacy that's going to last, the legacy where you can pass something down to your children's children's children, it is going to take time. You should be a monster. Because everyone says, well, you should be harmless. You don't want to be too aggressive. You don't want to be too assertive. You want to take a back seat. No. You should be a monster. And then you should learn how to control it. The definition of being aggressive is forceful and sometimes overly assertive pursuit of one's aims. In combat, almost nothing will happen the way you want it to if you don't force it that way. The enemy, nature, time, there's all kinds of things that, that are going against you. It's a losing battle. And if you don't use force of will, then, then you're not going to get it done. What it means is, is you need to make things happen. This is the good thing about being aggressive. Sure, there's, there's certain parts of your nature that are aggressive, but it can also be trained. You can start to think with an aggressive mindset, which is I am going to take action. I'm going to overcome obstacles. I'm going to push through roadblocks. I'm not going to take no for an answer. And th those are things that you can train. There's so often times where people they get told no or they hit an obstacle and it's game over for them. They're just done. They're done training. They're over it. And your attitude, you have to go, okay. Little little roadblock. Cool. How am I going to get through it? How am I going to get around it? What I need you to do is evaluate yourself today. Evaluate yourself to see where you are in this race of life. Many of you don't even realize that you've been racing to the finish line. This life is a race. Some of you need to be pushed to start running because you've been walking or you haven't been moving for so long. And you don't even know that you're in a race that all of us are competing to win. But it doesn't matter where you finish. It matters that you run after your goals and your dreams. The way to live is to run after your dreams to run after your goals, and to run after that finish line. 
There may be things in your life right now that's holding you back from running. But you have to break through those things. They're there to hinder you. But you can't let it force you to stop running. Chase your dreams. Chase your goals. I don't know the situation you're in right now. But the situation that you're in is not your future. It's not who you really are. It's not your full potential. The sky's the limit, but it all starts from within. It's all up to you. You should be a monster. You have to be hungry for greatness. Execute. Execute on the things that you said you were going to execute on. Kobe said, why would I pass the ball to you when you haven't even trained properly? I used to always wonder, like, why is my man hogging the ball? He's like, yo, why would I have confidence in somebody who's getting to the gym late, who's leaving early, we losing, doesn't seem to care that we losing. Why would I give the ball to you? And I'm like, yo, genius. My whole career is contingent upon what you do and what you don't do. Yeah, I'm taking this. That shift my thought process because I'm like, here I am judging from the outside. Why aren't you being a better teammate? But the real question is, why aren't you being a better teammate by seeing my energy and matching my energy? Because we're on the same team with the same goals. We have the ability to, no matter what our circumstances are, get better. Well, if you don't know me, if you knew me in 2002, you don't know Eric Thomas. That was the 5.0 version. This is the 14. This is the ET 14. You don't know who I am. And I would just say to people, yes, it takes a lot of work to become a new model, but it also takes a lot of work to suck, to be average. It takes a lot of work to do that as well. There are a group of people that feel like it's okay not to execute because I'm not feeling okay. Mm. Because today is not a good day. Because all the stars didn't line up. Yo, despite this happening, I owe it to myself to still be the person that I dreamed of being in this setback will only be a setup for a comeback. We owe it to the people who follow us to not stay where we are, but to take it to that next level. Being in a room with somebody who's executing and operating at a high level, man, I'd much rather put in the work and live this experience. Yo, we have opportunity. You have an opportunity of a lifetime. Whatever you do, don't waste it. Get up and go make it happen. Don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that down. Go through the motions. I always tell people the best thing you could ever do is force yourself to a schedule. Just write it down. Like today I have to do an hour on the treadmill. I have to do an hour, no matter what. Even if you're been walking on it, you're doing an hour on a treadmill. The next time you're going to do it, just, okay, you did an hour and this is the amount of miles you got in. Next time you're going to, you know, add three miles. Put, put an extra three miles in that one hour. Make a Monday, Wednesday, Friday workout schedule. Give yourself some time off, you know? Like, don't, don't even crush yourself to the point where you can't do it. Make it so that you really appreciate those Tuesdays and Thursdays. But on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you're gonna fucking get after it, and this is what you're gonna do. Lift the weights, sprint the hill, work on the project, get things done. You're waiting for someone to give you the opportunity. You're waiting for everything to line up. You're waiting for all the situations to come together perfectly. And I'm telling you, you cannot wait. You gotta start working right now. You got to recognize what it means to sacrifice, what it means to be powerful, what it means to be strong. When the weakness starts to talk to you and whisper sweet nothings in your ear, you got to recognize that there's work that must be done. This is what I do, this is my lane. This is your lane, you gotta murder it. Last thing, you got energy, don't play with me. 
But I tell you, when I say again, you got that energy for the next hundred days. I need to feel your soul in this room. Look yourself in the eyes and say, I can, I will, I must. Don't live in the mundane. Don't stay in the messy. Don't stay in the madness. But make room for the miracles. We get so caught up in the mundane that, man, where's the magical? When we were kids, it was like, can we play? No, but you got to clean your room. But then can I play? Remember, we were always looking for magic. When I went to Disneyland as a seven-year-old and I saw Tomorrowland, Frontierland, and I saw all these different lands, and I saw Mickey Mouse up close, Donald Duck up close, the fireworks show at 9.30 at night, my life changed. It was all about a different perspective from Compton, California and the things I saw there. Going to Disneyland, it was literally only like 40 miles away. 40 miles away, I was about to have a life change. It's another vantage point. And we've heard it before. Mindset is mind to set. Your mindset is mind to set. You begin to see those things that have not yet happened as though they're possible. Because then you get the miracle mentality. All of a sudden you're thinking uncommon, not normal, not regular. Before I became great friends with Oprah, I saw myself being great friends with Oprah. So when we started talking a lot, it didn't throw me off. I've envisioned these conversations. I saw it before it even happened. It's a destiny, it's a faith, and it's the power of the imagination. When Robert Downey was working on some of his projects, he did not see Iron Man coming. You never know when you will become a superhero. And that's the beauty of life. You can go from being challenged, having difficulties in your life, wondering if you're gonna be stuck in that same place, to the next thing you know, you are soaring in places that you can only have imagined. I simply align myself and then I cooperate with what life is asking me to do. So the book, The Miracle Mentality, teaches you how to get through the mundane, the messy, the madness in all areas of your life and embrace this miraculous life that you've been called to live.